A lot of you guys have asked me about vitamin B6, how much should you take, when should you take it, etc. So I want to sort of dish on vitamin B6 here, guys. I'm Dr. Jen. It is good to see you. Let me first start out by level setting and saying vitamin B6 deficiency is not common in the United States. It is not. Okay, so that leads me to the next things I'm going to say. And by the way, if you're disappointed, <laughs> don't be. It's good that we don't have a deficiency. Uh, but what that means is a lot of us have enough vitamin B6. I will, however, tell you what happens if you do happen to have low vitamin B6, what the symptoms are. I'm going to tell you the foods that you can get vitamin B6 in. I'm also going to tell you what vitamin B6 does in general, because I'm sure you are hearing from other people about this B6 vitamin. Now, all right, so let's just jump in there. First of all, B6, just like all the other vitamins, are super important. B6 is a water-soluble vitamin. We've got water-soluble, fat-soluble. I have other videos sort of detailing the differences between them, but water-soluble is exactly how it sounds. It dissolves in water, and oftentimes we pee it out if we've got lots of extra water-soluble vitamins, something to keep in mind here, uh, but that is how it works. Our, now, this is the thing. Um, it does tend to be more common, even though I said that B6 deficiencies are uncommon, it is more common in people with kidney problems, liver problems, people who uh, are, are heavy alcohol drinkers. So please keep that in mind. Notice I didn't say no one has a B6 deficiency. I just said it's rare to have that in the United States. B6, what does it do? Well, it helps our body make antibodies. We need antibodies to stay healthy. It also helps maintain nerve function. Holy cow, nerves are everything, right? It helps make hemoglobin. Without it, we might be looking at an anemia or some issues like that. It helps break down proteins. It also helps with blood sugar management. So there's a lot of good things that it does. And let me tell you all the foods that you can get it in because there's a ton of foods that we find B6 in. This is a good thing, probably also one of the reasons why not a lot of people in this country have B6 deficiencies, yay. But foods include tuna, salmon, bananas. I know, like not not expected after tuna and salmon, right? Uh, beans, beef and pork, nuts, poultry, chickpeas also feels really random. Uh, whole grains as well. So I'm sure there are other foods. Those are just a few, but those are foods that we find B6 in, okay? Now let's talk about symptoms, all right? If you do have a vitamin B6 deficiency, which again is rare in the United States, uh, you could have symptoms such as confusion, Okay. You could have neurological problems, um, uh, depression. You could have numbness, tingling in your hands, feet, peripheral neuropathy, we call it. You could also be irritable, mood issues. You could also have changes to your mouth and your tongue, uh, other symptoms as well. None of these are great, uh, but yes, these can happen if you are deficient in vitamin B6. Let me also say on the contrary that taking too much vitamin B6 or having too much of it in your system can equally cause problems and can be uh, problematic in large doses. The idea here is don't just watch something on YouTube or Facebook and decide that you need to take a vitamin B6 vitamin. Remember that uh, vitamins and supplements are not tightly regulated by the Food and Drug Administration in this country. There can be potential interactions. And if you don't need it, it's not likely going to help. You need to talk to your doctor first about if you need B6, which again is not common. And what I would say is you say, well, gosh, I've been feeling confused, depressed, irritable, blah, blah, blah. What I would say is go to your doctor, tell them the symptoms you have so that you can look at all of the possible things causing that, not just something as specific as a vitamin B6 deficiency, although yes, it does happen in some people. I hope this helps put things in perspective. That's the most important thing here. Don't just jump to cherry picking little things, hoping it will fix your symptoms because it could be something else altogether. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, threads, etc. Sign up for my free weekly health newsletter at drjencoddle.com. All right. Bye.